Look, at least promise me you won't drink. Alcohol always leads to trouble. So jumping ahead to today's barrel age program, where you're at, I believe that, did I read correctly, that you guys have the second largest inventory of barrels of any craft brewer, other than founders would be the first. Um, Go- it, Goose would be first. Oh, Goose is first. Okay. Yeah, I founders, think founders might be first now. Uh, I don't is, know where Goose is at now, but I, I thought just, Founders was at like 20 if we only had a oh, device, maybe, we could, maybe they are. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I've read some like internet. I've, I've, I've heard, look this heard up. something about the World Wide Web. Yeah, that <laughs> we can get rampant information. I have no HCC. idea how to use it, though. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, my point is, you guys have a massive yes. barrel inventory. You guys are huge. I'm, you guys are yeah. huge. 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 In, in relation to Goose or Founders, we're significantly smaller. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're four times Quite the size of yeah. us. You know? yeah. I, I heard Goose is going to be up to about 24,000 barrels this year. Uh, they have over, they just doubled the size of their warehouse, so they're 300,000 square feet. They did. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, so they, own you know, that, the, they own that whole section by the United Center at this point, right? For barrels. Like essentially. I, I, you know, what I like to remind people is that we are probably <clears throat> the largest independently owned barrel aging facility mm-hmm. in the right. nation. That's, so that's, it's, that's there's a big that's difference. That's a good, you know, good, good when, way to put when it. When Budweiser's yeah. your daddy, your, your pockets are a little bit deeper well, sure. than Paul Graham and Anella Malika. For sure. So, right. <laughs> so and, and well, your and Founders got a sugar daddy too. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, as far as being independently owned, we are probably one of the biggest. We're right around five thousand barrels right now, so it's uh, that's impressive. Yeah, so we I mean we have forty thousand square that's feet of barrel aging. So our barrel aging mm-hmm. alone is twice as big as our brewery. You know, it's a wow. it's a gigantic space um, that ties up a lot of capital for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it tastes worth it. I mean, it's, they're delicious. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, and they're every one of the barrel aged beers out of it. Out of, out well, of you, guys, you know, the, the tough part about the barrel aging program, especially you know, going back to Anello and talking about trends and and uh, developing new styles, is some of these beers to take from concept or idea to actual full blown market release can take five years. Yeah. You know, so you can start working on a beer right now that we're going to pilot, age, tweak. Brew again, age again, maybe tweak again. You know, wow. I mean, so. Now, do you pilot the barrel aging? I like give a smaller. That's why we want a seven barrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do, you, say, yeah. Yeah. do you barrel age them? Have smaller barrels so you can barrel age something for you know. A smaller, a smaller barrel smaller changes or? the aging time and the characteristic okay. of the yeah. beer. Yeah, we really, we really so. don't use anything but fifty-three gallons.